with this uh, additional names. Have you supplied the additional names from the Dakota County to the home to the Franklin campaign? Uh, my understanding is yes, but I can verify that. Okay. What I would say is if the Franklin campaign agrees to any of your names on that list, okay, and you two come to an agreement on a list, we will agree to look at those additional names. Can I ask a quick question? In the interim between Tarver and now, did you, you guys didn't have an opportunity or no, did No, I've got 80 names that you submitted to me. You have 80 names? 80 names didn't go that I've got in an entirely separate building. Okay. Out of 1,200 plus remaining, yeah. I've got to try and go pick up those 80, then try to go through the voter registration rosters right. and match that information, get their voter <coughs> registration cards, yeah. and get all the uh, absentee application materials. Right. Now that's a little difficult going through 26,000 some odd applications to find those 80. So we can set a date though after this to try well, to make you that get happen. A, if you get the, the Franken campaign to agree to any of those 80 names, then we'll start to pick them. But I'm not going to pick 80 names and just have what happened here in Carver County or in Scott County where we go with an en masse rejection. If you can agree to the names, we can proceed. Okay. Well, we're going to, I mean, there, there's a process with the paperwork uh, that we're, we're obviously have a, have a strong interest in making sure that their rejection of, um, of uh, absentee ballots should be counted. And I'm asking that you two work out the issues. On, if, if you send them a list and say, we believe in Dakota County, these are the ones that should be reviewed. Okay. They can respond to you. We believe these are the ones in Dakota County from your list that need to be reviewed. Okay. Then we have the communication <coughs> with you too. Okay. And we're just going to want from you guys then, if those that you don't agree, we're going to want a similar set of paper because we, because we, we should have that record, that, that, uh, that paper trail. So we'll, that, that's fine. Um, and we'll work with you guys and, uh, and make sure that we have a chance well, to this sound. Is what I would suggest is if you've got a Dakota County list, you send it to, uh, you have your chief counsel, Tony Trimble, send it to our chief counsel, and, um, you know, and they can. Well, that portion's occurring. I, I, well, I we, we, so we got a list of whatever the total number was, 700, so sorry, you know, know, 600 something. Well, and I, 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 I they are categories by count. So if anyone can can somehow cut and paste those names up. But I'm leaving this to the campaigns because I'm not going to spend staff out. I've got people that are requesting leave that I may have to cancel. I've got a number of issues going on. And again, to try and go through 26,000 and some odd applications just to find these 80 and then the, the rejected absentees and the voter registration materials and the voter roster. I've got 141 precincts worth of rosters to try and The only thing I can tell you is I, I was at the, the meeting yesterday Secretary of State, uh, we rejected uh, uh, on timeliness um, agreement on that list because, frankly, it was late in the day, and you know, for all those reasons, but for all those reasons. So right now, our position is that we, our position is that we're not going to consider those. Okay, but what I'm saying is. But, uh, I'm but if we're willing to, uh, I, I'm willing to, to call my, during a break, call my uh, uh, counsel and, and see if there's any di difference in that Well, and that's position. fine. But yeah. what, I'm, what I'm offering out there is if, if you can get their campaign right. to agree to any of those names, we'll pull them and review okay. them. Okay. So, right. just, so let's just leave it at that. Okay. So the Dakota County is willing if, if we can come to an agreement. If you come to an agreement as the names off that list, <coughs> and I'll, expend, okay. I'll have staff expend okay. their time to do it. The other thing I'm asking is we have categorized these rejections before we even start to open this. We have uh, on the surface 17 of these that were processed by the city clerks and we have 45 that were processed by county clerks where the application was completed correctly, the return material was completed correctly, everything met all the criteria. However, the city clerk failed print, we, we transmitted to them electronically a copy of the application, figuring this would help uh, move the systems along. These were ones that were obviously overlooked by the city clerks, so the, the election judges rejected them 
for uh, not having an absentee application to compare the signatures. The applications were on file in the cities or the county. So what I'm saying, what I'm suggesting in the morning, if we can start to look at some of these by category, can we agree that they don't fit the first four criteria? We can briefly look at the envelopes. And all I'm trying to do is save time. We have 174, and we saw how difficult it was to get through 29. Right. So you're suggesting that for tomorrow morning? For tomorrow morning. Can you have a copy? We will have a copy of this list for you. These are the same criteria. These were applications was delivered to the wrong priest. Otherwise, it met all the, the same criteria. It, they, were, they were acceptable, but unfortunately, the application ended up in the wrong precinct. Again, they had to reject because they didn't have the application on hand. We have some where uh, the voter provided the wrong precinct. Uh, they were provided the wrong precinct ballot by the city. So they were rejected out of hand. We have a number of them where the, the voter was inadvertently provided non-registered voter materials and they were in fact registered in the precinct. So when the election judges saw they did not have voter registration applications, they rejected well, they didn't have to. They never referred to the voter roster. So what I'm proposing to move this process along is we supply you with our categorical list. And if you can look at those over the evening and come back, and we can get through some of these rather quickly. We don't show up your valuable time. You know, there are 87 counties to be reviewed, and your services are probably needed elsewhere. Is council available to, to um, sort of put this, boil this down into a memo so one of lead attorneys can get their arms around this? Um, and then we I think this is rather self-explanatory. We'll, we'll provide you with a copy of it. We can also just do a brief email. Go through through. Through. It, it, what Joel is suggesting is just an approach. Just take, try to take these similarly situated ballots together and, and, and uh, We'll have the well, envelopes here. I mean, you'll be able to look at them. Right. But if, what I'm saying is, is if we get this to where we <coughs> hold these that all have the same criteria, and we can all say signatures match, this matches everything else, there's absolutely nothing else you could reject this for. Mm -hmm. Can we somehow move this process along? Because once I believe we established the criteria for one, it's got well, to give, be. Give us the list. I, what you're suggesting is if we don't. Start now, but we start in the morning. Exactly. On those, do you well, have we 174 we're going to be reviewing for us to start the day. Right. Okay. Well, right. you give us the list. And we'll run those by. Okay. 